universities are crowded since the early hours of the morning. Long queues of students are hoping for a chance to apply and study. As more people joined in, tensions here started running high. So people are just jumping queue the whole time. Oh, it's a bit frustrating. It was bad. We never even moved much. So it's like terrible. Very yeah. tired and very agitated at the moment. No one's, no one's going in. So. Only time we move forward is when people give up. The University of Johannesburg says it's doing all it can to attend to the students. The majority of them are late first-year applicants. UJ can only accommodate 11,000 first-time students, but it's already admitted 17,000 conditionally. Every single applicant received an SMS. That SMS explained to the applicant whether you have finally been admitted or finally been declined. Unfortunately, there are quite a lot queuing outside that have been declined for undergraduate studies at UJ based on their final grade 12 results. But they're now very desperate and they want to, to, to be here. I rate parents a blame management for not providing enough information. There seems to be a lot of confusion. There is no direction for, for parents or students when they get here to be assisted in any way. That is the big frustration. In Pretoria, the Tswane University of Technology was a hive of activity. At the TUT entrance, late applicants rushed to get their details captured. I arrived here around 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm still queuing for the applications. I didn't yet receive an acceptance letter, so I'm here to confirm that I'm accepted or why not. TUT denies it was errant in communicating information. We've got consistent continuous advertising programs. We start advertising in January up until our closing date in August to remind learners that they have to apply in time. Similar scenes at various tertiary institutions across the Cape Peninsula. Students were anxious to secure a last minute spot to study in the new academic year. I came to apply today. I applied last year, but they didn't accept me. So today I came again. Even in the Eastern Cape, where fewer students qualified for university entrance, hopeful skewed. The Eastern Cape Department of Education is concerned that only 10,000 matrics qualified to apply for a degree. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News.